Hey everyone, so I have another Doctor Who review today and this is Series 3, Episode 3, Gridlock. Now if anybody asks me what my favourite Series 3 episode is, I always say either The Shakespeare Code or Gridlock. They're kind of on par together, I can't really decide, but I do really, really love Gridlock. This one first aired on the 14th of April 2007, so it's very nearly four years old. And that's really hard to believe that this episode was on four years ago, that's like... Phenomenal, it doesn't feel like that long ago. Sorry, my notebook just fell over. Did you hear that? Um, and this one basically the doctor takes Martha, Ma Martha, I always say Martha, Martha to New Earth once where again where he took Rose. Screw it, the notebook's getting put down there. And I, for me, that was kind of hard because you guys know I'm still totally hung up on the whole. I'm, I, even now, I'm still grieving for Rose. I want Rose back. Um, so for him to take her somewhere where he took Rose, it was kind of emotional, and you could see that in the doctor. The doctor could still feel that. But he was going there to go and see the face of Bo because the face of Bo had a message for him. And when they get in, Martha gets kidnapped in a car because they want for her for a carpool. Because obviously New Earth is in gridlock. The cars are not moving anywhere. That's the telephone written. I should go and answer that. One minute. Right, I'm back. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. I missed the phone anyway, so that was totally pointless. Where was I? So Martha is kidnapped for carpool because grid, the um, New Earth is completely in gridlock. And you have to have a certain amount of people in your car to go in the carpool lane which is supposed to be faster. So this dealer and the doctor end up going, going in a car as well to try and find her. And when he gets there in the car, he realises that the entire city is just full of cars and nothing else. Of course, these cars are floating cars. Um, they are flying cars. Not as fancy as the Ford Anglia that you have in Harry Potter, but it is a flying car nonetheless. And it's very smoky, very foggy on the outside. It's really filthy and dirty. And what you'd expect from a, a, an overpopulated city in gridlock. And the doctor goes from car to car, and he's being chased by Novice Haim as well, because Novice Haim wants to get hold of him and say, Hey, look, Fate of Bo is waiting for you, sort of thing. Um, and for the record, I absolutely love Novice Haim. I think she's so cute. Um, so basically, the entire episode is Martha stuck in a car trying to solve the problem. And when she discovers that there's Macra are underneath, she obviously wants the Doctor even more than ever. So the Macra do cause quite a big problem and quite a bit of upset and stir for Martha. And she's in a really weird carpool because the people with her are kind of cuckoo. Um, and then the doctor was hopping from car to car to car to car and my favourite one was when he landed in the car with Bran again and his wife has little kittens, they were so cute. But I really do love Bran again, I thought he was adorable, one of my favourite, favourite, all time favourite characters from Doctor Who, I love Bran again. So that was brilliant and then the one when he went into the um, the car with the, the, two, the two lesbian old women, I thought that was a really nice touch and the immaturity in me, which granted there isn't actually that much, <laughs> yeah right, um, did kind of laugh at that a little bit, so it was just a really sweet little touch to have a lesbian couple sitting doing nothing but knitting, it was <laughs> not what I expected from Doctor Who, I'll be honest, but it was nice, um, and then the whole chase scene where he climbed from one car to the other and you like didn't know whose car he was going to go into, I really liked it, but the end of it is heartbreaking, even thinking about it, it's getting me welling up a little bit, Obviously, we have grown to love the face of Bo, and then when he tells the Doctor Yana, as in, you are not alone, I was like, okay, no idea what that means, but then we lost the face of Bo, and I was like, no! I, I still can't believe that there's no option of the face of Bo returning, but then, and obviously major spoiler here if you're just watching the series and you haven't seen any of the later ones yet, when we found out at the end of series three that Jack is the face of Bo, having the face of Bo die, obviously they did it the other way on, but now whenever I watch Gridlock and the face of Bo dies, it's really Jack dying. And that's like the most horrible thing ever. I don't want Jack to die. So that's really quite emotional and upsetting and it doesn't ruin it because it's the magic of Doctor Who that it drags out that emotion for me. That's the beauty of the show. But the fact that they kill off Jack that way is, well, it's heart-wrenching. It's horrible. Um, and then obviously there's the whole bit at the beginning where Martha, Martha's like, well, where are you from, Doctor? And he's like, he, he, he doesn't really want to talk about Gallifrey because, you know, Gallifrey is no more. So it was a very emotional ending. I did cry a lot. I still do cry when I watch it. Of course, I do. I'm a big bag of tears, basically. Or just a big bag, whatever you want to call me. <laughs> but it is, Gridlock is, like I said, one of my favourite episodes. You have... 30, 35 minutes of comedy and then at the end it is really really well done at the end just to round the whole thing off with heart-wrenching scenes and it's just 
It's horrible, but it's beautiful. Directed by Richard Clark, written by Russell T. Davies. All the great ones are written by Russell T. Davies. Because there's not really a massive focus on the alien creatures, like, the macro aren't central in this. It is more about the face of Bo, and it's just sort of extensive padding that gridlock is there makes it longer than just right get to the face of boat makes it a bit more complicated and nice and i like the fact that it's not like a big mass failure and invasion that the doctor has to fight off it's not about saving the world from creatures or saving new earth from creatures it's about getting to the face of boat and it's it's horrible but it's beautiful and you know i love it i really do um Anna Hope as Novice Haim, before I forget, absolutely fantastic actress, I love Novice Haim, and um, Ardell O'Hanlon as Brannigan, probably pronounced that wrong, fantastic cast, obviously Freema as Martha and Tennant as, no I said Tennant as David there, <laughs> Tennant as the Doctor, oh I love him, you guys know that anyway. Um, yeah, but please feel free to leave comments and things and let me know your thoughts on this episode. I would love to know if you cry too. Please tell me if you do. I don't want to be the only person in the world who cries when Jack dies because that's just... I don't like it. Yeah, but please feel free to leave comments and things and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!